The Super Bowl is just a couple of days away, so I'm gonna catch up with our reporter, Eli Rosenberg, who's over there on the West Coast, to find out how much excitement is over there and how the Patriots are going international. Eli, the Super Bowl is so close. People are making their snacks, getting ready. How's the excitement over there on the West Coast? Oh boy, here we are. It is so exciting. You can feel it in the air. You know, we were just going live for NBC Boston and you could hear them practicing the national anthem. So that is a sign. We are definitely getting close and you hear inside the stadium they're practicing. Starting to see a lot more fans around town, Bengals fans, Rams fans. So you can tell the game's getting closer and closer as we start seeing more excitement around town. Definitely building. Right, when you hear the national anthem, you can already hear your, your blood pumping, your patriotism is at an all time high and you're ready for some football. You know, we have been seeing a lot of Patriots fans. That brings us to the next big news of today, talking about Patriots fans traveling. You know, they're out here in LA and they're gonna have a chance to go to Germany. It's a big announcement today that, you know, Patriots are one of four teams in the NFL that are part of this initiative to build football up in Germany. So over the next four years, they're actually gonna play a game there. And I don't know if you are aware of this, Jakob Johnson on the Patriots is actually born in Germany. So we talked to him today here in Los Angeles. He's so excited for the chance to go home. He says, this is gonna mean a lot for Germany in terms of just building up the brand, but also teaching football to, you know, soccer, so big over there. So the chance to bring football, Germany is very excited about to get some funding for programs, et cetera. Really great to get his perspective considering he was born in Germany and now plays for the Patriots. Well, it looks like a lot of New England fans are gonna to have to learn to say champion in German. Uh, so, you know, that's great. I, I can't wait for it. And you know what? A couple days away, let's get ready to play. So also, excitement is building. We're starting to see a little more celebrities around town. We had to Radio Row this morning with all the radio stations are set up doing interviews. And we saw Mac Jones, the quarterback for the Patriots. We saw A-Rod, a number of other Patriots as well. So we're starting to see a lot more celebrity wattage here in LA as we get closer to the game. Speaking of Radio Row, there is a Patriots presence down there. Our Patriots insider, Phil Perry, caught up with Mac Jones talking about his off-season training and cutting out ice cream and the offensive coordinator situation for the next Pats podcast. Hey Rob, big day on Radio Row today inside the LA Convention Center. We had the opportunity to talk to Patriots quarterback Mac Jones for the next Pats podcast. We talked to him about his off-season training regimen, how difficult is it going to be for him to cut out ice cream, the way he told ESPN back at the Pro Bowl. Also talking to him about the offensive coordinator situation, a little bit of turnover there. Our guys Adam Hart and John Henry, NBC Sports Boston, they were there for the entire conversation. Make sure you're going to check that out. A definite Patriots feel here today on Radio Row. Even when the Patriots aren't in the game, they are part of the conversation. We talked to Lawrence Guy, we talked to Patriots Super Bowl champion twice over LeGarrette Blunt. So make sure you're checking out all things NBC Sports Boston, the next Pats podcast. We have you covered there. Rob, we miss you. Of course, the Super Bowl is a time-honored tradition, but not the only tradition out there. In fact, some local guys have been playing a league of pickup football for the past 30 years. Here's a clip. The Vol Bowl is a hodgepodge of many years and many people all coming out to have as much fun as possible literally every Sunday from the weekend after Labor Day to the weekend before Memorial Day. Rain, shine, snow, sleet. We will play in any conditions and we're very hardy. So this all got started in 1992. Two roommates and I uh, were living in Newton. We had nothing to do on Sundays after a night of whatever we were doing, carousing in Boston on Saturday. So we started basically going around the corner from our apartment, throwing the football around. And then that started building. It became a two on two, which was so boring. And then it became a three on three. And we started inviting friends, people in the neighborhood would occasionally pop in. And then it became an institution, literally and figuratively in some respects, where every single week I sort of forced us all to get out there. And the game just kept growing and growing. You can watch the rest of that story and all of our Super Bowl coverage on air on NBC10 Boston, online on NBC10Boston.com, or on your favorite streaming device on the NBC10Boston app.